What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Vintage Cube Draft. I have several stipulations in the queue, not not not, not the least of which is Crutch Juniors. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I got like seven stipulations in the queue, guys. Hi, Bob. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, and for the the uh, the kind words, my dude. All right, let's go. Let's just do. Let's just do this hammer foe stipulation. Because I feel like we can do it right now. We can take factor fiction. All right, must take cards that say opponent first, target player second. Exceptions for mana. Got to be able to cast them. Spell spirit of the stiffest to mess with opponents. I'm a nice guy, but I love a hole magic. <laughs> okay. So this does say uh, an opponent separates those, so. Oh, and they're just, they're just gonna get a Mox Ruby. That's pretty cool. Um, so we wanna go opponent first, target player second. That's the, what up, Crutzy boy? I'm gonna take the Mox, I don't think it's even close, really. Uh, each opponent loses X life. I like that, I like that. It does say opponent. And I think Scarab God is a pretty high pick in this pack. It's not a very exciting pack, so I'll take it. Uh, nope. I'm looking at the cards I want first and seeing if they uh, if they say what I'm looking for. It's it's gonna be hard because you have to like read every card and be like opponent, opponent, opponent. This is that permanence control. All right, we're just gonna take Inquisition because it says target player. <clears throat> Okay, okay. Oh, I don't think anything here. There's another set player. Each creature, each opponent. Each opponent. Fire Confluence does say each opponent. Alright, well, we're going Grixis again, which is okay. We got a Mox Ruby in the sideboard. No one knows better than McCain. All right. It says in opponent controls. I like that I'm looking for the cards I like, and I'm seeing if they if they coincide. It deals four damage to a creature to a non-dragon creature in opponent controls. All right, we're getting there. Not bad. No, that's not going to say anything. Um, target opponent destroys four lands. Ooh, burning is an option. Uh, not only a card of an opponent's choice. Okay, Tassiger. I like Tassiger a little better. I think it fits our strategy a little better. I'm not. I'm not a huge Tassiger fan, but um, it could work here. What up, Twister? I would like some Grixis lands. That would be great. All right, a bad lands will do. Infinitely better than the Spire Bluff Canal, though. Uh, I would take Spire Bluff Canal in a pinch, if I had to. In a pinch is a weird phrase. Uh, I'd take it in a pinch. Target player. One of the main cards we'd play in this matchup. Or in this deck, rather. I need to win the lottery, then I could buy Frank a new house. Dude, if that's what you want to do with your lottery winnings, Crest Jr., I appreciate you. Have you done a brown town step yet? Oh, uh, I think we have before. Uh, 
Lingering Souls, no. No. Uh, an opponent. This does say opponent on it, so we're going to have to take Wish Claw Talisman. It might not be terrible. I've thought about it before now, but if I ever won the lottery, Frank would have the most. Man, you are. You guys are ridiculous. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I don't think any of these. Oh, it's one of your opponents. Edric does say opponent, so I will take Edric. Uh, target player. So that's not terrible. Uh, dev creature. No, none of these are any good. I'll stick Maze of it, I guess. Okay. Not terrible. Not a terrible start. Ooh, Karn. That says target player on it. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just Karn here. I think Vista is also an option. I can't imagine anything else has the word opponent on it that I'm just missing, so I'm going to take Karn because it says target player. Nickel Bolas. Each opponent exiles a card from their hand. Oh, we're taking this Nickel Bolas. Actually, this Nickel Bolas table. Let's take Bloodstained Mire because we're maniacs, and we'll see if Nickel Bolas actually tables. Uh, the new rent counter just means I hit the moving goal, and I will ideally be spending $800 a month for rent. Split two ways. Exile the top three cards of target opponent's library whenever an opponent draws a card. Okay, so we either have Ashiok or Consecrated Sphinx. That's fantastic. I'm going to take Consecrated Sphinx. I think it's stronger than Ashiok by a little bit. By a little bit. Um, split with who? Me and me and Mike. Uh, Hypnotic Spectre says opponent. Uh, I think it's, I think Hypnotic Spectre's got to be the pick here. It's the only card that says opponent on it, but it does say opponent on it. Uh, Masker Worm does Thank you. hit all the things. Suriash, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, this also says opponent's control. Interesting. Let's sort by convert a man. Oh, we're already in. We're already in that. Uh, all right. So it's definitely one of these two, and I think Masquerum is just the stronger card. I also think uh, the other guy will probably come back. Target opponent or planeswalker. Um. Does combat to to a player? Okay, so that doesn't say opponent. You definitely don't. Uh, and here's what I feel like a target opponent's library. I like Gonti here. Gonti's great. That does say opponent on it. Uh, target player discards a card. Thank you. Okay, that's an option. Villy, what's going on, my dude? Did the move go okay? Move has not happened yet, my friend. I have not done it yet. Uh... Deals two damage to each opponent. Hazard actually uh, takes precedence over Kolagon's command, unfortunately, which I don't think we're going to play. Dang it. Hammerfoe, what's going on? We are actually doing your stip right now. Um, from a single graveyard, deals damage to target player. Shut up say target player. I think each opponent's upkeep, so shouldered actually does work. For a stip or critique or whatever to be determined later, Josh, that is... <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. You let me know what you want to do, and we'll do it. We'll get it done. Yeah, I guess we're just taking Shieldred. I would like some more mana for this deck, but... Um, I don't think anything says target player here. Yeah, I just take Ritual. God, Yog I'm just going to take Yawgmoth's Will. I'm going to ruin someone's, someone's day. Uh, sorry, player. It's common damage to a player. Add five. Yeah, none of these actually have a clause. I'll just take Fatal Push because it's just fine for our deck. That creature's not an artifact. Nope, nope, and 
sure burst lightning is fine as well. And it'll take a wear tear, I think. Yeah, nothing else really does it. Man, what did, what did Nickel Bolts did not come back? Jeez, that's terrible. What a gamble we took. Let me just play Fire Ice. That's so dumb. Wow, I was really hoping for the Nicol Bolas. I mean, we only have like Badlands and Bloodstained Mire as far as fixing goes so far, so. <laughs> I don't feel bad about taking the Bloodstained Mire, but I definitely would have liked a. Uh... Um. I feel like it might just be Mind Slaver, to be quite honest. Uh, black, 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 black number one. Um, I wish there was an easy way to search and be like, opponent. I think, I mean, Oath of Druids does say opponent. It says the word opponent, but you're not like target. I mean, like, I think Mind Slaver is a much bigger, uh, a much bigger card for this stipulation than the other oh wow everyone just passing library of alexandria i think i'm also going to pass library of alexandria for an underground sea or maybe i take scalding tarn <sighs> which one has more likelihood to come back the i think the tarn has less likelihood to come back we could still get a volcanic or a steam vents i think we're taking the scalding tarn here okay okay Can we splash this idiot? Because that would be funny. I would like that. I would enjoy that very much. Uh, I just didn't want the library because I needed fixing. I don't need a colorless land in my three color deck is, is the problem. I mean, nine times out of ten, I will take library, but this is not one of those times. I think it's just Oko. Oko says opponent on it. Oh, Misty Rainforest is nice because then we can just cast the Oko. We can just put one forest in our deck. Ideally, we'll put something else in here, but... I mean, if an underground or a volcanic or something comes back, then I'm going to feel okay about it. Um, I'm going to take Coalition Relic here. We're going to need some playables here. I guess Coalition Rock is playable. And it, it falls under fixing. Uh, and recast spells targets when our permanents gain control. Target player draws two cards. Deck does say target player. I don't think we're through the breaching. I don't think it's this guy or this. Nope. Uh, that says that player. Yeah, let's do let's just Dak. Let's be Dakin. Dak a lack. Nope. 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 Maybe. Nope. No. Okay, so none of these cards fit the bill. Oh, I didn't even realize the, the activated ability on Citadel says opponent. That's interesting. Um... Kind of like Arena. Breeding Pool and a Blood Crypt. I like the Breeding Pool because we can get it with Misty or Scalding Tarn. That makes Oko playable. And we already have Badlands and Bloodstained Mire. I kind of just want the Breeding Pool. And the Black Cleave Cliffs. Okay, we're doing it. We're living the dream. Oh, we're having a Chupacabra. Is that the only thing that says opponent? Can it be blocked? No, no. Yeah, none of these say opponent on them. So, oh wait, um, oh no, tithe taker does. Oh no. Uh. Oh, 
Oh god, Chupacabra does say opponent on it because it says target creature and opponent controls. Oh man, I'm so dumb. I was thinking there was no reason it would say that. Oh, that makes me sad. Um, yeah, I'll just take Flame Tongue Kavu as my 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 Chupacabra replacement. Yeah, we'll just take Bane Fire. Mm, Ancient Grudge is fine here. Come on, I want one more playable in these last few picks. That's not gonna do it. Nope. What do you think? A win by time step. I know that might suck, but the idea would be to win without killing your opponent, reducing life to zero. Ugh. Uh, that would be really unfun. <laughs> that would be excessively unfun. Yeah, it also does seem really hard to pull off, because the more time you give someone Vintage Cube, like, the worse off you are. God, I really wish I took that Chupacabra instead of the Size Taker, but what are you going to do? I'm tempted to just play Ancient Grudge. I think Ancient Grudge is main deck. Well, we also have Dak Faden and Fiery Confluence to deal with artifacts. I think it could be Worm. I think Worm is fine, especially when we have Coalition Relic and Mox. We could also just play 17 lands and a Mox, which I, I think I'm also okay with. I don't think we're going to play um, a forest because we have Breeding Pool, Coalition Relic, Mysterian Forest, and Scalding Tarn. It's four sources for one green card. How to step where you draft whatever you want, build the deck, and then blindfold. And then you're blindfolded and Micah Rob has to lead you through playing. That seems terrible. I want challenges when I have to, like, build decks or pick cards, but I don't want to be, like, restricted to not take anything good. It's like, don't take any cards that are rares or mythics or above, and you're like, well, all right, but then what's the point? How do I vote for never that stamped? <laughs> oh, man, sort by color. Okay, so these all cancel out. Oh, we really don't have that many blue cards. All right, red, we have one, two, three. Get out of here, Mutavolts, what are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight seems fine for now. Uh, black, we have one, two, three. Scalding targets, bad lands. One, two, three, four, eight. So eight, eight, three, four, five, six. So seven, eight, nine, ten. This is seventeen. We need to get one more. Probably just adding another black here, or another. Hmm. Red. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five. Six. I'm gonna add one more blue. So this is seven, eight, eight, and then four green. Yeah, okay. I'll keep this. Keep. Huh. 
Oh, biscuits. So we probably, I wish we had an underground city because then we can get the uh, second black. As it is, we're probably gonna. <laughs> Big fan. Oh no. Mox. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess, if that's what you wanna do. Ren and Six, Ren and Stimpy. Let's go get a breeding pool. Okay, well, that will be good. Followed by this, or this, or this. Okay. Not Got him. That Ren and Six did nothing. Look at this mana base. God, they've assembled Voltron over here. That's what friends are for. So yikes for me, dog. I can't fire confluence kill planeswalker. Is everything about that? Oh wow. So we got four cards here. We're gonna one, two, three, four, five. I'm just taking the lands, it's not even close. Here comes old creepy curtain McGee. <laughs> Discard until you have seven. You doing okay, man? Feeling a little coasty. Whoa, you're playing four colors, huh? This is three colors, Michael. <laughs> Unbelievable. Kids these days. One, two, three. I think I count four. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, it's the birthday boy. Yes, it is. Oh, what up, Mike? Birthday B. 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 Um, I think we just kill this guy, I guess. Although this guy's bad too. I'm thinking Johnny's worse. Thank you. Oh, Kellogg sixty one. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I bought a house. Wow. Must be nice to have a place to live. <laughs> no, congratulations. That sounds awesome. Um, That's do a big thing. Do we have anything to like get back things, Michael? Do you know? I don't know. I didn't see the draft. What did? What did we? What can we get these cards back with, dude? You got a snappy? I don't. You got a torrential gear hulk? I do. Not have that. <laughs> got him. 
All right. Well, then I think you're out of options. You got an internal witness? No. Temp protector? The Rat Train song is pretty hilarious. Send them on down to Rat Train. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh wow! Have you ever been outside and got to call on the red train? Wow! You made a stream button. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's amazing. That's how you know you're big time. <laughs> I'm just a button now. The meme is a button. Oh God! The command wasn't enough. Thank you. It's real late tonight, man. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Who was that? Who was that? Jay John, thank you so much for the resub. Twitch keeps telling me about thank my sub anniversary you. message. Therefore, I'd like to wish Mike be a happy 753rd birthday. Let's send OP on down to the rat train. <laughs> Caspi, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. What is this that's happening right now? Just to be clear, I'm probably going to lose all my creatures. Well, that's a thing, all right. So long, Consecrated Sphinx. That's the only one I care about losing. Well, that could help us out at some point. Attack. Teferi. I'm just attacking both at Teferi. Just in case. Yeah, if they have, like, Condemn, I don't want to deal with that nonsense. Or Path, or Swords. I'll keep that up. One, two, three, four. It's gonna give me Hypnotic Spectre because that thing is the least impressive card in my in my graveyard. Oh, Fatal Push. Let's mm. see. That seems fine. You have three creature lands here. Josh, I can't believe you missed the Rat Train, dude. Send them on down. Send them on down. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> wow. Have you ever gone outside and got to call on the Rat Train? What's that button look like, man? It's a, it's a rat on a train. Oh wow. Wow, four creature lands now? Good gravy. Well, there's no settler wreckage in this cube, so... Oh, what the fuck, Tassiger, dude? Yeah, I saw you attack with that. He was in the red zone and I hit okay! Come on, man. It's not a bug, it's a feature. But you gave me this. <laughs> Why would you give me this? Send them on down to Red Train. To be fair, if you're losing our opponents at four, I'm a cry. Cosmoto. You guys saw it. It went in the red zone. He was like, I'm coming in. Ah, I changed my mind. I'm going I'm to hang back here. You have to take any rat. There's only like two rats in the cube. You got. Pack rat. That's it. And guys. Oh. So much for not having anything to do today. They popped a bunch of fuses in the building I run my food pantry out of because our furnace broke and we're heating it with electrical space heaters until it's fixed. The problem is I have two freezers and fridges in there and I have to go down there and check on to make sure that with the circuit breakers getting tripped, we didn't lose. That's a good, that's a good thing to do, but it's a bad thing to have to do. Can I just block this guy? Why is Ink guys in this cube anyway? To got him? It is to got him. I think it's really just to send him on down to Rat Train, you know? It's going hard. Send him on down to Rat Train. Tassigre. Give us Fatal Push again. I shall examine the clip regarding the red zone incident. <laughs> Frank was right. Bandwitch, I appreciate it. 
I'll I'll uh, I'll I'll open up that link when I get it. Are there any trains in the in the cube? I don't think so. There's like no vehicles, right? Vehicles There's would just be copter, a train. That's it. Yeah, smallest copter. It's more of a going on down to rat copter. This is a tough choice, man. If not expected, a fire confluence. What? Doesn't that just kill you? I think it does. That puts you to like one. What in the earth? Okay, it worked that time. Yeah, we could literally just put him to one here. I mean, we won't because we gotta not die, but. Seems decent. It's not bad. Can't bounce anything they have, but I think we still play it. You can bounce on our own lands to draw a card. You cannot bounce lands, otherwise I'd bounce theirs. Oh yeah. Still get a draw card. Uh, okay, I don't have any artifacts, so that seems fine. Fiery Confluence was the least offensive card in my graveyard? I, like, Hypnotic Spectre is so much worse, right? It's a 2-2. Two -two. This deals like 6 damage. Maybe head cats, dogs too, a pet stip? We're getting there. Look at this mana base, man. Were they doing a take all the land stipulation? They must have been. They have done. Done the game. They have done it. Well, let's see what you got here. Oko, Engrath, Dak. Oh. Oh. Yeah, fucking Mox, white, white dad push, in the Midwest uh, over here. First. Oh. Hippie <laughs> <laughs> Spectre, Kalishma, Fire Confluence. Oh, what's the last red card there? Bonfire. Okay. So the stipulation is this. Let's take it to say opponent first, target player second. Option for mana. I gotta be a chasm and spirit and stiffness. Oh, I'm a nice guy, but I love an eel magic. Oh, okay. So we're trying to mess with their their junk. Mess with their junk, Michael. We're a bunch of junk messers is what we are. I wonder if Banefire is just good. How's your mana? How's your mana? It's all right. Breeding pool, Misty Blood. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Miss Beauty. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah. Very recently. Cause yeah, it smells like a smell. It's got a strong like minty smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I showered earlier when I thought we were streaming earlier, but then we didn't. And then you were like, "Yes, more Fallout." <laughs> no, I did a lot of Fallout last night. I did oh, more sleep. God. Is what I did. Jesus. I went to bed at like 7.30. In the morning? Mm-hmm. I went to bed at like... When did I go to bed? I don't know, man. Four? I think 4.30-ish. Oh, you're right. Yeah, when I looked, when I recorded you, I was like, yeah, it was around 4.30-ish. When you recorded me? <laughs> it's a joke, man. I was, I was like... That's creepy, man. <laughs> I'm going to cancel our application to that house, man. I'll watch you when you sleep. Yeah, clearly. And play this deck fading on turn two. Oh, I hope they play like a signet. Can you even imagine? Can you imagine the world where if they like play it, they tab out for it? Damn it, they didn't do it. No, that'd be or really any artifact. So now I don't know if I play deck or if I just play coalition relic. I think it's relic. Did you see that email? Oh, did you get one too? Yeah. I was like, I'll oh, yeah. let you know cool. tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, alright, cool. Which house is that one? That's the one we went to yesterday. The recent one, okay. Yeah. Which I like better because it has the three bedrooms. I like the location of the first house better, but I like the layout of the second house better. Also, the first house you saw didn't have like a fence. The yard was like, it had a little yard. Yeah. But it wasn't it was like small. closed. Yeah. So I was like, can you just get out? Can you just break away? Can you just take them on down to Rat Train? I don't understand. Also, the 
I don't know if it was bigger, but it felt like the, the house we just went to was bigger than the other one. Well, I took him down to Rat Train once, and let me tell you. You ever been outside and called on the Rat Train, Michael? I didn't think so. This guy seems hard to get rid of, I'll be honest with you. That don't do it. Don't even try me with this Jace Ariski. Jace Ariski, what? Don't talk to me like you know my language. You don't know nothing. Clearly. I think we're just going to fire this guy. You're fired. You want to just slam Scrabble God again? I can do both of those things, Michael. Maybe I don't care though. Like I feel Why like this because he doesn't do anything. But we can just attack him next turn. Mm -hmm. I'd rather save this for like an Ajani or something that's like problematic. Okay. But maybe I don't know, man. Jace is obnoxious, like, but like, it's not Jace, man. Or fucking Idris Elba. My bad. <laughs> it does look like Idris. Charles Minor. Did I say Jace multiple times? How many times did I call it Jace? <laughs> oh, God. So, this is so... God, 11 times. So many. You can also use it to, like, tap something. Draw a card. No, I can't, because... That's not how Teferi works. Oh, yeah. He literally stops you from doing those things. Yeah, this is 100% Idris Elba. Like, it's not even close, right? It's very Idris Elba. It's 100% Rat Train. Have you ever been outside? Oh, wow, someone literally posted the same the same time I said that. No, that's true. Not all black people are Idris Elba, but this one specifically... It does look like him. ...looks like him, pretty, so... Pretty much. I mean, they're just setting it up so Idris Elba can play Teferi in the movie. Just, just like they did with uh, Nick Fury. Oh well, boy, this this old junk piece of junk again. See, Mike does not look like Idris Elba. You don't think so? I don't. Huh? Just swore I did. Wow, that was uh, that ass shock was just literally a mill three. One, two, three, four, five. I could slam mind slaver, but he does have a deck in his deck. That's my fear. We don't really need to do anything. We could just play our own deck and draw some cards. I do like my own dackle. Welcome to the dackle shackle. How am I help you? Oh dang! On fire does not seem great here. <laughs> now there's fatal push. No. The Dackle Shackle? Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, he's even got the graying in his hair in Teferi, like... Well... Oh, wait! Oh, no! Oh, no! If we didn't do this, we could have just reanimated it. Yeah. I guess we could still do that, but boy, I do I feel silly. Wow, what a dumb move by me. Okay. I 
I just want Frixie Arena. Really? We already have a consecrated things. Oh shit! I was actually gonna discard this guy and reanimate it. That was my plan. Good lord, man. Hmm. I'm terrible at this game. Good lord, that was so bad. Then we get to keep a thing in hand. We get to keep Factor Fiction, and then we just get to use all of our mana and get a four four instead of a two two. But. Okay, I'm going to draw two. Going on down the red trail. I'm going to use this ability and draw two. Well, that should be game, right? That's a good dude. They're also stuck on mana, so. Thank you. Well, that's sad, but we get our... This guy back. John Travolta, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, well, that's pretty good. All right, well, you know what they say, Michael. Sometimes you just gotta carn them. Sweet my... Oh, I see. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I doubt Badger's here. Badger's been busy recently. Good Mike's never knew Mike B. Wow, you're just being rude now. Black, black. Red, red, red. Blue, blue. Let's get another black. Put a charge counter. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We can just play both these guys. Hey, that's pretty good. Sometimes you just gotta bring the glory, Michael. <coughs> Let's get rid of these two. Attack of your face, huh? Blue, black, one, two, three, and this guy for this gentleman right here. Oh, wait, what, do I not have enough? Oh. I do have enough, you just didn't like to add that mana at the end, I guess. <laughs> Good Mike's never Michael B. Does Mike B stand for Babu, and are you Babu Frick's father? Who's to say? Wow, damnation too, huh? We'll all be. What about Babu Frick? Yeah, it's Mike Babu Frick. <laughs> That little guy was amazing. God, I love Babu Frick. I bet you don't even care about Babu Frick, do you, Michael? Oh, we just won the game. You get to put him to like five there, so. We get to send him on down to Rat Train, Michael, is what we gotta do. <clears throat> Sand seems a little meh. Yeah, 
I don't like this. Uh, well, this seems bad too. 18 essential lands. All right, going to five, I guess. I guess we'll keep that. Put you on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Put you on the bottom. Unfortunately, we can't get a blue source at this guy. You got no steam vent? Oh, I didn't see you put that away there. That's good. Man, that card's dirty on turn one. You're dirty on every turn, you disgusting rat. Wow. Got him. That's interesting. So next turn they go three mana. We go Hypnotic Spectre. They go four mana, put a counter on this guy, kill our Hypnotic Spectre. That seems rough. I'll just get rid of this idiot now before it gets out of hand. <clears throat> yeah, I'll shoot you in response, you see. Okay, you got it. Mana tithe. Didn't have it. Burst lightning. <laughs> yeah, no blocks. What color planeswalker might be, and what would his name be? I have no idea. <clears throat> My ultimate would be all aboard the rat train. Oh, that's cool. I like what you did there with your guy. That's pretty sweet. God, I'm gonna kill for a Teferi here. Do you believe a Jace? We have to see if we're dead. We're not dead. Jesus, that's kind of annoying. Well, <clears throat> it's good times. Do you get to cast this? Don't even tell me you get to cast this from your graveyard. Yes, I do. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Does he get exiled after? Yeah, thank Christ. They went to like two cards to nine cards this turn. <coughs> A maze of it, huh? Oh, that's annoying. Is there even a point to playing this game? I can't even tell. I'm just going to land this guy before they Cryptic Command it. It's okay, they probably drew Counter Spell. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, we know two of the five cards in your hand, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, they've only drawn nine extra cards in us this game. NBD. They can draw three more if they want to attack with their guy, too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. They're living their best life. Yeah. Cool. Good for you. Let's see if they found their combo. Three red. Here comes the Kiki. Yep. Cool. And you only had to look nine cards deep to find it. Good stuff. Man, I wish I had more answers to those things, but uh, we don't. So, 
we're just gonna hope that we don't die Come on, breeding pool. Breeding pool. Breeding pool. Mother of Ruins? That seems like a completely different card. Oh, well, that was pretty good. <coughs> Seems good. Guess I'll make you use it. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay, cool. Man, I was so excited about my turn to have Mount Spectre, and then they played Maze of Ith, which is just a really weird card to play. And then we kept drawing lands for the rest of the game. <clears throat> and you got Maze of Ith, I'm making you use it. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm just bitter. There's really no, there's no. That's a good reason. There's no real reason for it. It's just natural bitterness. Tassigre, 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 Some good singing, man. Thank you. Oh, wow, are they like post combat doing a thing? Okay, that's weird. Oh, he did. Keep getting him. You wanna you want Maze of it? I'll let you Maze of it. Have cryptic command and never don't have cryptic command. Do, do, do. Oh, it's just a factory fiction. Oh, well. You got it. You got it. Disco dude, thank you so much for saying so, man. I appreciate it. Those fun scripts, huh? That's pretty good. Cool. Get this guy. Okay, cool. Here comes breeding pool. Probably. <laughs> pretty close. <laughs>
What up, Kerwin? Thank you. 21 <laughs> months. My God, what a friendship. What a long journey we've taken with each other. Let's see what's happening here. <sighs> so many nugs is right. This is obviously the better pile, right? Like, mm -hmm. but like if they have Splinter Twin or Kikijiki, then we're dead. But if they have Splinter Twin, if they have Kikijiki, we're dead anyway. Just taking this pile. I think it's just better <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're just dead here Yeah, they wanted to give us a relic and uh <laughs> good games. Fuck off. <laughs> I could have lightning bolt. You don't know it's in my hand, dude. Oh man. That's so that's so fucking infuriating, dude. Spells on the stack. I don't I'm not tapped out and you're gonna say good game. After you drew twelve extra cards in game one. Like, come on. Yeah, they wanted to give us uh, Fire and Ice and Coalition Relic because we had three extra mana. So if they gave us Coalition Relic and we played it, we wouldn't have mana for Fire Ice. I think they were just hoping we didn't have a, a, an extra land in hand. But, like, we only have... If we take Fire Ice and Coalition Relic, we don't have anything in hand that actually deals with Splinter Twin <coughs> Zealous Conscripts. It just buys us a turn. Right. I don't hate this hand. It's a little slow, but... So are you. I know. I know. Feast your eyes on this, laddie. On the what are you saying right now? What does feast your eyes on this, laddie, mean? I have no idea. Huh? I just put things into the ether. <laughs> It's for the world to interpret them however they want. I let the world interpret my art, Frank. It's fair. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was a good one. Did you like that one? Prepare to get rained on. Rained on? Mm hmm. Because it's a storm? Yeah. Gotcha. Interesting. Maybe there's not a storm. Maybe it's just some artifact nonsense. And I got the cure for it. I don't know if I do, actually. It's not necessarily true. Oh, I got the cure for it, all right. But I don't need to cure that yet, though. I need to cure it all. I think you just fact, you're right. EOT, FOF, GG? Something like that. You know how we do. I mean, technically, they haven't done anything. True. That's, that's something. That's the thing that they Can did. Can you kill that with Confluence? No. Confluence does not hit Planeswalkers. Dang. <clears throat> Crutch Jr., have a good afternoon at work, buddy. Have a good night at work. Uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti? Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't know about off spaghetti? I don't actually know about off spaghetti. 
Oh, smug it. Man, I wish Dak Faden can steal Jays. Can you imagine? That'd be pretty good. Can you even imagine? I can only imagine. Jerbury, what up? I got a little tilted at that that preemptive GG, my dude. <laughs> <coughs> um, well, I still think Dak Faden is better here. Yeah, when you drew 12 cards against me in game one, oh, that, that would kind of gave it away. Uh, do we just take the sword? But not very far. We could <laughs> we could take the lotus and force him to crack it, and then he doesn't get the mana, right? Oh, well, we could just fire confluence and kill both of these as well. True. Oh, Jano, my dude, what's going on? What is happening? Dex doesn't really do much here, right? It steals their sword. Is that good? Yeah, I imagine you do the same thing every game. Your deck seems very consistent. I'm going to choose Paul 1. Whatever. I don't need no deck. I really would like to get rid of this idiot, though. What the fuck with that? Thank you. Do you mean that? Yeah. 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 Are you okay, man? This is the Wilhelm screen. <laughs> Yeah, your deck seemed... It, it seemed good. It seemed pretty insane. Do I play... Yeah, I guess that's the only option here. Gotta put something on the board. I just hope we don't regret not killing this, but, you know, they didn't have anything, so whatever. Yeah, being able to attack with Arcanist and just flash flashback your your ancestral vision is pretty nuts. I mean if they just spend Jace like hypnotics getting rid of hypnotic specter three turns, that's totally fine. One, two, three, four, five. If you could draw Glory Burn, I'd be like, alright, that's cool. Kill that Jace. I'm yeah, Arcanist is like surprisingly powerful if you oh oh interesting. Two, three, four. Okay, so they can activate Urza once. I wonder if they do that. If they don't, they can't, like... They have access to 6 mana if they want it. Are they just going to crack load it? Oh. Fascinating. <clears throat> yeah, okay. 1, 2, 3... Oh, four, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Well, that's something, all right. Oh, yeah, that's that. That's what we want. That's what Father likes. Don't even second guess it. Thoughts on Rise of the Skywalker? I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a very enjoyable Star Wars romp. Goop and a gaff. A goop? A goop and a gap? A goop and a gap? Yeah. No, man, I don't think it was those things. Ah, spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. What's wrong with you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you every night, man? Oh, they did it wrong. They stacked it wrong, so now they have to tap four things. Got him. Pew, 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 pew. Dan it, dan it. Yeah, this deck was actually a stipulation where I had to take uh, all the cards that say either target opponent or target player. So that's that's the the th the cohesive theme here. Cohesi Manisi. Oh yeah, I love old Cohesi Manisi. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> That's how we're gonna let you get does he let you get back anything or just creatures? Creatures, man. This card's like twenty years old. Oh wow. I'm just gonna kill all your artifacts now. Well, all the ones that matter. So kill anyway. sword, metalworker, tangoire? I don't care about the tangoire, that thing's going away on its own. Oh, that's true. Okay.
Oh, John, what's going on, my dude? How fat is Urza? He's real fat, dude. He's 3-6 right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, now I see why this deck fade went to the graveyard, man. <coughs> we'll steal these things. So we gotta tap three things down, huh? Unfortunately. Bob and a boopy. One, two, three. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get around the red. <sighs> two, three, four. <clears throat> Let's just destroy three. Three wholesome artifacts. Um, is it these three? I don't think I care about metalwork when you have one card in hand. I think I'd rather get rid of sword, construct. Maybe I don't care about Lotus Bloom right now, I guess. Don't you, though? That axe is actually because you can get any color mana, right? Like, you might be the same color. I, I have my doubts. I think you can leave the metal worker. It's just not a creature. Tangle is kind of annoying, like. Oh, they're actually. Mm, Tangle is annoying, but I don't really care. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. They did it right that time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have to tap two, so I'll have eight <coughs> mana. So we can play Shouldered next turn. It's pretty good. Do, 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 do. My name is Michael B. I live in the garbage can. My name is Michael B. Did you ever go visit me in my tree? They call me Michael B. out of your Wawa cup. Oh well. Need your leftovers out of your country crock tin. <clears throat> Mike lives a reusable Tupperware life. Quit hating. I ain't hating. I'm jealous. I'm saving the environment. Really? Sort of. Not really. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you. Congratulations. Okay, so we're gonna go. Yeah. Add a bluke. A bluke. One blue, please. That's right. This gentleman. I wish we had a creature in our graveyard. That'd be pretty cool. I think it's a gentle lady, technically. Who's that lady? Gentle. Came here from YouTube Exile to tell you had an impossible burger and it was amazing. Oh, man, I'm so glad, dude. I'm glad you enjoyed it, my dude. Yeah, they've been legit. I can't stop eating them. They're good. You know, on a regular basis, anyway. I don't they know. do be good. Not, I, I don't need an overabundance of them. Maybe like, maybe once a week. I just wait until they get cheaper. Oh yeah, because Michael's little Michael's little wallet can't take it. I mean, like three extra bucks at a restaurant is kind of a lot, man. I don't know. Poor Michael. They actually taste good enough to where I wouldn't mind eating those instead of real meat. Yeah, I know they're real. Uh... Yeah, that makes it much easier, dude. I have like two packages of Beyond sausage in my fridge as well, so it's like. Dude, being a vegetarian and actually having, like, fulfilling, like, you know, nutritional meals has been a lot easier since Beyond and Impossible. You know the only, the only side, downside oh of Impossible Burger? My dad? No. Yeah. People who are, like, really hardcore vegetarians don't like it because it tastes too much like real meat. That's weird. I, I don't think... I've heard that from some people. That's... Those people need to just stop. Then don't eat it. Oh, cool. Upheaval. That was cool. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Oh, Lord. Oh, and they made you too. That's great. So they're going to get to play some stupid artifact mana. Yeah, well, Tangle Wire. Okay. That doesn't really do much. The Burger King app has deals on Impossible Whoppers? What? I didn't even know there was a Burger King app. I'm throwing that shit right now. Oh, Lord. 
we draw our mox. Nope, we did not. Guess we'll go to the end of the turn. Gotta discard eight cards, huh? Definitely shouldered, because we can get it back. How do we get it back? With Scarab our Scarab Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... Oh, yeah. actually, Tassiger seems amazing next turn. Get a bit of shouldered. You're, uh... Keep him not expected just in case. Kabu seems bad here. Oh, we can kill Urza. True. We can just get it back. Why wouldn't I just rather play it on four and then Sega on five rather than <laughs> give them two turns of Urza activations? I suppose so. That's your way of saying you're right. <laughs> uh, okay, well. One more, huh? I gotta brag about it, man, okay? So we got Black Black. We're gonna play this guy on three. We're I think it has to be Relic, because fortunately, it's just like. I agree with that. It's mana that costs mana, you know? It takes mana to make mana, Michael. Oh, I'm getting my little Burger King out. Well, it's not mine. I don't have any ownership of it, it's Michael. It's my little Burger King out. No, it's not. I just said that. I don't know why you keep saying it. I'm literally I'm correcting you, and you're not. It's like you've learned nothing. You have learned nothing. <laughs> oh, Inquisition of Kozilek is interesting. Let's just play to see gray. One, two, three. Do you know the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? So now they have Ruins, Island, 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 Urza. And Signet, I guess. So we know one, two, three, four, five, six cards. And Port is a new one, and Tomb is a new one. Does Mike know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? I bet you don't. I guess, I guess we're going to just look at their whole hand anyway right now, so... Uh, Worn Power Stone, Crucible of Worlds, Rakdos Signet. Well, so we were right about Island Island, Urza, Academy Ruins, and Signet. Crucible seems pretty good here. I think I care about it more than the other two, especially when we have Flame Tongue for next turn. Yeah, Crucible seems real good. Right? That gets two lands. It gets them two basic lands. Yeah, we'll just get rid of Crucible. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> About to get on that rat train, aka the MTA. Oh, man. Underground. Oh, hold on. Let me check this Burger King app. Come on, Burger King app. Load up. I checked to make sure my opponent wasn't waiting on me. They were not. Burger King... They have this $8.99 Whopper meal for two, and I'm like, wow, that's a great deal. And then I'm like, oh, wait, I pay more than that for one with the Impossible Whopper. Yeah. Oh, man, this app's legit, dude. Bogo Crispy Chicken Sandwiches. You got $5 Crispy Sandwich Meal. You got you got options on here, man. Is my opponent still doing their thing? Boy, this is, this is exhausting. 
All right, well, I'm adding this to my food folder. Oh, you also got one of those? Yeah. How else How else would I keep my stuff sorted, Michael? My opponent's still not done? Jesus. I feel bad. I'm like, I'm looking through my app. I'm trying to figure things out. But then they're like, um, choose one untapped thing. What do I want to play this turn? They didn't play. They played both of these? Sure. So what did they play? They played Academy Ruins, Worn Power Stone, and Arachto Signets. You know, three and then whatever else they have. <coughs> I guess we can just tap land because we're not gonna we're just gonna play well, that's pretty good we're just gonna play hypnotic specter here and attack for four <laughs> this red train this red train emotes that's that's where you want to be I mean, Josh, that kind of paranoia is always comical to me. I'm like, what's Burger King going to do with my information? I mean, if I can go through their drive-thru and trust them with my credit card, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure downloading their app is fine. What did they do? They put Sword of Light and Shadow on top of their library with no creature in play. Interesting. Okay, so they don't have swords. So now they have their hand is Urza Island. It's all very strange to me. Oh, that's interesting. I'm probably just going to kill that guy. <sighs> you know, like you do. Ideally, we can knock the Zers out of their hand. That would be... Oh, Mox Ruby too, huh? Oh, sh we hit the island. Come on, dude. That's stupid. Come on. That's silly. I mean, we know they got Urza, so... Yeah, I guess I don't value my data as much as everyone else. Like, I, that's that's always been a thing for me. Like, I'm like, what are you going to do, man? My my daily quality of life is not going to go down. Like, I'm not in any inherent danger. Like, I can't protect that stuff anyway. So, like, I'm not going to, like, change my, my conveniences and my comfort to, like, <clears throat> protect my phone number from Burger King, you know? <clears throat> you must protect from the Burger King. He will destroy you. I know. He's too powerful. I know. That's my. That's what I'm afraid of. Do you even know the Muffin Man, Michael? Uh, mm. not well. Yeah, me neither. I mean, he lives on Drury Lane. Oh, does he? I I don't know. I just work here. Just give me the burger deal, the rad train, and the new Garrick. I'll be Matt. Is the is the new Garrick any good? I wasn't sure. I'm still I'm still on, on the fence about it. This is interesting. that last card put it in the graveyard put it in the garbage can what's it gonna be oh an emery fascinating falsinating falsinating <clears throat> yeah what does that mean who knows 
I figured you might. In draft, I know it is, because my friend won every game he drew the Garak. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Are they going to activate Urza at instant speed and take two from Ancient Tomb? Wow, that seems aggressive. Okay, Preordain. Well, you can't cast that. That's weird. Put that Urza in the trash can. So now they're in top deck mode. We can block this guy and they have to just draw something to get to get rid of both of these guys. If we hit a land, we can play Consecrated Sphinx, which means we have another blocker that will also let us draw two cards. It's always so weird to me when people play Upheaval and then lose after they play Upheaval. Like, I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but that's a weird outcome. You yeah, didn't really get that much advantage off of it. No, it felt like a desperation. Scarab God is demoralizing, but the problem is like they're going to be able to attack through our team with the construct to get back their own Urza first, because the sword's going to trigger get back Urza, and then it's not going to be in the graveyard. So, all right, we're going to bring an Ancient Grudge and Wear Tear, <laughs> and oh wow, what? Oh wow, four dollar impossible burn. That's cheap. That is cheap. I mean, because the meal is like eight, right? Yeah. Four ninety nine, two original chicky sandies, and two small fries. Oof. I was literally saying all of these things to you. Man, I'm glad the stream let us know about this app. <laughs> I'll be going to Burger King every day. Well, maybe not every day. Every day. Okay. Look at this. So right now for Artifact, we have uh, Ancient Grudge, Engrath's Rampage, Dak Faden, Wear Tear, Fiery Confluence. That's pretty good. I'm just going to submit with the old. I got up people three times in a game, but my opponent was playing with me after the first playing with me after the first one. Yikes. I just had a Rob moment. I had no idea what the black white sword even does. Wow. Well, if it's, only, great. If it's only one card. It's one of the swords. Not great, Bob. It's only good if Against your opponent is playing black white. Right. Otherwise, it's just like meh. Whereas, like, I'll play sort of like uh, Fire and Ice and Sword of Body and Mind against any opponent because I think the effect even, is just real good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or Feast and Famine. Force of Famine, yeah. Those are the three. A War and Peace and Light and Shadow, kind of crap. In most cases. Seems like a keep to me. Oh man, turn two deck is that's where you want to be, my dude. Did you tell Mike that Alexa is a pirate? I did not. Wait, what? What? She's a pirate now? Huh? You turn into a pirate? What are you hoping for? Rakdos Signet here? That would be great. Come on. Drop it like it's hot. They didn't drop it like it was hot. They didn't drop it at all. He will bring you glory. I'm definitely just playing back here. If they know it, it's fine. Oh, Arena next turn seems good. Um, you can just get rid of two lands, I think. Yeah. This is better. His is better. But in two turns, we can probably kill the Glorybringer. Didn't our first round opponent also have Jace? Uh, maybe. Good talk. I think you're right, but I'm not 100%. How can you know? I may never know. You may never, you probably will never know. Yeah, that's true. Well, I kind of want Gaunt here instead. That push doesn't seem great here. Hmm. Guess the sword. 
Sword seems great because it lets us discard a creature every turn and get it back. Oh, yeah, that is good. I don't care about Lodestone Golem. No, that's going to hurt us more than it hurts him. That's true. The KGB waits for no one, Michael. Some schmutz? It looks like some schmutz, yeah. Oh, I think it's uh, I think it's uh, that hot sauce I got. Dripping down the bottle. Dripping down the bottle. Ooh. What are you copying here? Gonti? You rude son of a biscuit. I mean I'm just gonna glare bring your whole team next turn, so I ain't too worried about it. Did you still get the trigger? Yeah, because it, as it enters the battlefield. Okay. Back there's our exiled card. We have no idea what it is. Could be anything. Could be a boat. Sure. I get to just steal ammo? How could you do something so courageous? It's so silly. Okay, so what we're going to do... Those are going to inquisition you. Inqui what? Inquisition you. Oh. Top, other Jace, Emery. Let's get rid of Emery. And then we're going to play Gory Brizzer. More like Gory Lizard, if you know what I mean. All right, attack your face and exert, and attack Jace. No, wait, Jace is three. Dang it. Attack. You don't want to kill a Gonti, right? Six. What? Well, yeah, kind of, but like. I just don't care about any of these cards in their hand. I mean. Urza is awkward. Urza is good, but like, we just steal the construct. And then it's a 3 3, 4 4. And we can attack with this guy with pro black white. Oh, you're just paying 6 for something. Oh, you drew it. Wow. Be good. <sighs> Seems good. I just want to hit one land. So I can shield it here. That's all I'm asking for. Well, you also get a Dak, so you got a pretty good chance of getting there. Well, I don't really want to activate Dak when they have Consecrated Sphinx on board. That's true. Well, you got right, there. No, I don't have to. <clears throat> Alright, so their their draws were literally Island Consecrated Sphinx? How did they mm -hmm. get an extra card? What am I missing? Maybe they already had six men on board. And they didn't oh, this is out? our Sphinx. Son of a biscuit. That's oh. It. Yeah. From the, from the Gonti. Gotcha. So actually, it just means we get it back with Shouldered after they we kill their... Yeah, this seems fine. Yeah. That was a good hit off Gonti. For them and for us. I mean, they are going to get two cards out of it, but... Oh, they already got them. Such is life. Get in there. Don't... Come on, dude. Okay, you did it. Yeah, such a hard life, but it's just... It's a shield dread for me. I think their deck's pretty good. So we know four of the six cards? Okay, well. Thank you! Oh, Super Fritz, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
I hope the Sandwich Kingdom is treating you Happy well. Happy Mutual Meatball Pepper Jack Day, my dude. Wow. That's my favorite day, my dude. How big is Shildred? 6'6"? Six, six, yeah. eight, eight. It's a 6'6", six, six, Michael. Alright, so top is gone. Well, we have Lethal on board, so... 6, 7, 9, 10, 11... Yeah, we got 12. 14 if you count this sword over here. What? That's... So you just kill that with the <laughs> glory bringer, right? Buddy, you know how exerting works? Looks like you're exerting for a squirting. Thank you guys for watching. Hammerfo, thank you so much for the stipulation. I feel like it turned out pretty decently. And, uh... I'm just gonna play this, because... You know what? I took their thing. Let's draw some cards. Discard you and discard you. We can just bolt your guy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankapore. Patreon.com slash Frankenfour, CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday, and Manitraders.com. I have a great subscription service that you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription thank with you. the link and promo code down below. Krasuski, man, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. You're awesome, my dude. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>